Oh no, I don't look, they don't look well. Great. Oh my goodness. Welcome back to the video. I'm weighing in today for my bench press competition. I've had a really rough experience doing a water cut. It's um, definitely not been my favorite thing. I'll talk about it. Talk about it later in the vlog, but I'm trying to stay in bed as long as possible because I've not had food or water since yesterday at half 11, 12, and it's like half eight now, and I'm leaving at 20 past nine for my 10 o'clock weigh in. Obviously, this is the opposite to what I do as like a fitness person, but I also didn't realize actually how hard it would be to do a water cut for the competition, did I? I didn't anticipate that it would actually be hard. Guys, guys, I've been in. 20 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, and I still got 0.4 of a kg to go. I had a very rough night. I had to go to the sauna and it was just not a good time. But I am gonna show you from now. I'm gonna eat loads of food after my weigh in and then obviously the competition's tomorrow. I'm ready to go to weigh myself properly. I weighed myself this morning on my scales and I was 60.05, which is, I need to be 60.0. So fingers crossed the scales are exactly the same there. What I've obviously found really hard is the whole process of making weight for something because it's so opposite to me and like what I do kind of as a person. So so that's what I've really struggled with, to be honest, doing this water cut because I went from 63.8 kilograms to 60.0. So it's a lot. I had a lot to, to drop down. But I think powerlifters and boxers, they dropped like six, seven kilograms. But I think for the first time I've done it, it's felt really awful really just found it hard. But such as life, things things are hard in life and I put myself forward for this competition, I put myself forward for that weight category and it, I mean, because the next weight category up was 67, I wouldn't have been able to get up to 67 with like my running and stuff, like I just, I've never been that weight before, I've always been like 64, was 59 after my ultra, brought back up to 64 and then dropped back down again for this and today I'm going to put back up to 64, it's actually wild to me what the human body can do, it's literally crazy and never didn't, I didn't think I'd get to 60 though, that's literally wild. It's been a very interesting journey like obviously the reason I signed up to this is because I did 100k and I thought what could be different and I entered this. Here we f***ing are and I'm going to go and weigh myself in a competition. Let's go. <laughs> Fifty-nine point seven. What did I say in the car? 59.8 didn't you? No. So the weighing is done. Rehydrating like hell. 59.7. She did it. Currently the big boy is squatting. We're gonna go and get a Mackey's because I need to get back up to back up to what like 63, 64? 63. Back up to 63 kilograms, which I definitely think I'll do, so I'll let you know after. We are going to the McDonald's, everybody. We're going to go to McDonald's breakfast, sausage and egg McMuffin, and a cheese bagel. Is that what it is? We're gonna have to read the menu because I don't actually know. We don't know how many we've ordered. We got a mighty muffin. They have no bagels anymore. I literally haven't had a McDonald's breakfast in clear like six years. And what was our other option? A bacon roll. Bacon roll. Should we should we should we check? Can't even. I don't know how to check. This is there are four things. There are four things. This is what we've got. We've got a bacon roll and a mighty McMuffin. Never heard of a mighty McMuffin. Mighty McMuffin. We're gonna have to just do this carefully. Twelve out of ten. Oh my god, it's phenomenal. Before we go Christmas shopping, I have just got myself a cheese and ham. What is that? A panini? Toasty, cheese and toasty. And then this, and then just a gingerbread latte with cream. There it is. Gingerbread latte. Got them in a to go cup because we are actually going, but I don't want to eat that in my car. A little jingle bell. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Why am I Michael Bublé? This is my favorite Christmas album. We're on our way to Inspirations, and then we will also get more food on the way to Inspirations. They got the kilos. Guys, this place is incredible. Where are we? Brombra. It's in Brombra, and it is just the best Christmas. Look at that tree. I'm sorry. Look at that tree. It's the best Christmas shop place ever. We basically decorated the whole house as well. However, it's always nice to come and just be Christmassy. So we've been to Inspirations. We've left our trolley there. She's got an orange juice, and I actually don't even. I just basically picked the biggest slice. Okay. I think it's ginger. Not karaoke. Okay. Ginger and lemon. Oh. Can I try some? Oh, I've got that. 
Yeah, you're up there. No, I, I want some ice and beer. Why is that all of seven? No, what? I think it's a six, which is quite bold. But it's moist, it's not too sickly. I'd give it like a three. The house is definitely looking Christmassy. Look how cute. Just like the little little reindeer cute little thing that i bought today from inspirations and there's just a lot of christmas going on i really love christmas time it's making this competition better i'm gonna make the biggest bowl of pasta you have ever seen in your life i might have like oh, really hit my eye i might have like a double portion basically i bought some pasta the other day and that's what i'm gonna make i've got sauce i've got cheese i'm just gonna throw everything into it and i'm really excited for that and whilst it's cooking i'm gonna hoover the house <laughs> My lord, the size of it. Look at the size of it. I'm well excited. That is excessive. I mean, is it too excessive? We're just gonna have to see. You know, with pasta, I don't measure out pasta. I just, I just, that's half the thing gone though. But it's all right. It's all right, because we're getting back to weight. I'm just snacking on a medjool date because these are just my favorite thing. Why are they so sweet and delicious? It's very full. The whole thing is just really quite significantly full. I'm going to need a large bowl, everybody. I cannot with the size of this pasta. I mean, oh, Lucy Davis. I think I've made a portion for about six people. Oh, it's not gonna fit in my bowl. To be fair, it's just like the pasta that's bigger. Oh, shakey, shakey. I like a lot of sauce. I don't know about you, but I kind of, I like it when my sauce is kind of everywhere. We love tuna. Mix, God, sorry, that noise makes me feel physically sick. So I apologize. Add in all the nuts. Pop the spring onion. Oh my God. The size of the pasta. Look at that. That's delicious. Mm-mm. Oh, here she is. If you watched my ultra pet prep, you will know I always used to say, pasta makes you faster. If you were here the ultra prep or if you knew, hello. Pasta makes you faster. I really hope it makes you stronger. We're just gonna really whack on the cheese. There she is, stunning. I'm gonna watch Home Alone in my very Christmassy house. You were delightful, you were delicious, and now I'm gonna go and weigh myself. Oops. 141.8, what is that in kilos? Hey Siri, what is 141.8 pounds in kilograms? 64.32 kilograms. 64.3 everybody, 64.3, what is going on? Holy days, I'm, I'm, I'm heavier than I was before. Good times. Hello, okay. the day of the comp. I'm a little bit nervous, it's so loud in here. You're not no nerves. No nerves. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>
Come on, show them. Okay, we are Barlow de Felicia Are you proud of me? Yes. So I've actually, I know I got a no lift, but I'm actually fucking buzzing because I don't really care because <laughs> I still lifted it. And also, I was really, I texted Ash this morning being like, oh my God, I'm literally shitting myself. I'm so nervous. I was more nervous for this than I was the 100K, which I don't know why that is. But the atmosphere is very fucking cool. It's definitely an experience. I'll tell you that for a fact. Now we're just going to watch the really strong people do deadlifts. Hello, coach. Hi. I've yes. had loads of questions, obviously, that I can't really answer because... You're not a powerful. I don't, I, yeah, I literally don't know it. So, first question was, why did I do a water cut? Why did I have to put down to 60? You're, you're just over a category. So, if you're like bang in the middle of a category, there's other, other people going to be eating up into your category. So, there's going to be girls that are like 56, 57, 58, eating a lot, trying to be there. But you're like four kilos over a category. So, doing a little water cut, you're at an advantage straight away against other people. So you want to try and do as well as you can. You're close to record, so why would you not? Yeah, that guy's close to the record. So why, why would you not try and be in an advantage where you're coming in today at 64, where other girls might be 58? Because I didn't change the too much. No, it's not, it's, not a diet, it's not a diet. It's not a diet. You're not losing body fat. You're just using water weight. Yeah. And if you do rehydration, it's, it's fine. Yeah, so why did I weigh in the I think day a lot. and then was allowed to be 64 today? A lot of people will still water cut, even though you're competing on the same day. That's just dangerous. So loads of people, well, I think a couple of federations still do, but there some elite guys can do it, but they're on an IV drip on that morning to make sure they're back up, which is like super elite and people do it. Yeah. But then, but then, but people will still do it who are amateur at the sport, will still do a massive weight cut. Imagine you lifting yesterday morning, you'd feel like crap and it's just dangerous. I don't think I would have been able to lift. Exactly, it's dangerous. I couldn't, I couldn't drive here yesterday, let alone. No. It's dangerous like, doing it same day and that's why they've stopped it. Very. In all fairness, you couldn't even bench 60 properly 12 weeks ago. So I, you just I benched 70 say, technically. I would say it was 50, I, like 55 I was doing when we Pause said, properly, like, yeah. Pause properly, like properly. So for 12 weeks and you've added 12 kilo on yeah. your bench realistically, you it's good. Came up, guys, <laughs> I counted. Oh, Got my participation medal. Mm -hmm. I am home. I did it. I can't believe I did it and I can't believe how nervous I was. What? Did I do well, babe? Smashed it. Very proud of you get off the zone doing shit you're not used to doing. So I really, great. yeah, it was definitely out my comfort zone for sure. And yeah, I don't hold back and other people shouldn't hold back because you shouldn't be scared to try something new. I think getting over different levels of fear is like super important and getting out your comfort zone is so, so good for you. So I hope this maybe inspires you in some way to try a new sport or just do something new. On to the next challenge, you guys know I will be telling you about it soon. I have two things planned for next year and I'm hella excited. I think you already know what they are, but that's fine. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.